Sure. So I'm uh, Sean Murphy. I'm the uh, Chief Research Information Officer at Mass General Brigham and uh, work towards enabling people at the Mass General Brigham to be able to do research with big data and artificial intelligence in order to make the most of our uh, healthcare system for research. Thank you for sharing that with us. As you are from research and AI, can you tell us like uh, what's the use of, because there are two different perspectives on AI. Can mm -hmm. you tell us your perspective on AI in healthcare, how it will be evolving and how do the medical professionals need to make use of the AI in the current evolving world? So I think of it as part of the learning healthcare system. So one of the things that we really can do with our healthcare systems is have kind of a continuous learning cycle where outcomes of patients are then quickly incorporated in new ways of thinking about how to treat the patients and how to uh, do the best for them. And so AI helps us because it helps us organize that. It helps us put the best things forward that can actually be done. And it can actually help continuously monitor what's happening with patients in a way that's very difficult for us to do, um, you know, without AI. Thank you for sharing that. And as like you're into research field, like what do you think continuous learning is helpful for medical professionals? Uh, everyone may not be pursuing their masters, but they still want, they should, is it necessary for them to upgrade themselves in the career to know about uh, case-based discussions? So I think in research, a lot of what we do is based on clinical studies of one way or another. Now, AI is being used in different ways to enhance clinical studies. And so in that way, I think it is important for people to know new methods of AI and how to use AI in order to do a clinical study and understand um, the outcomes of the patients in the study. Thank you for sharing that. And what makes you feel motivated to be speaker in such platforms? Um, Sorry, can you ask that again? Uh, what makes you uh, be a speaker in such conferences? What oh. makes you feel motivated to come meet people and ha be a presenter in such conferences? So the reason I come to these conferences is I really like reaching out and finding uh, people to collaborate with. So one of the things that's the most important is to get lots of diverse input, I think. Um, diversity really breeds new ideas, new ways of thinking. And so often going to a uh, country like India, where there's a lot of diversity, can give you a lot of really good new ideas and really help the people of India, but also just help the people of the world. Um, and tech is really strong here too. So I think that uh, it's a really great place to come and look for people to work with.